On the day before her surgery, Christy is thrilled, and her husband is supportive. Tyler, my husband, he had to go on a business trip this morning, and when he left, he left rather early, and I was still laying in bed, and um, all of a sudden he opened up the blanket and kissed both my thighs, and he said, goodbye. <laughs> and I said, a good riddance. I am very excited, so I can't wait. I think it'll be great. It's a very patient-oriented technique. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> See you in a bit. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Right through this door. Okay, great. Okay, and we're going to come in here and get your vital signs. Okay, and take your body temperature. Take two. I'll give you a copy of these when we're all done. Great. What I always wanted. <laughs> yes. Now, let's have you turn around and face the other direction. Okay. Sometimes the biggest problem with this is that people laugh too much. Oh. <laughs> Before beginning the surgery, Dr. Klein draws two kinds of lines on Christie's body. The round circles identify the deepest fat areas. The sure straight lines tell the nurses where to inject the anesthetic solution. Ooh. Now I know what a coloring book feels like. <laughs> you don't need to say the patient is draped no, with a sterile sheet and we'll start doing liposuction. Well, goodbye, thighs. I'm so sorry. Goodbye. We have to, <laughs> we have to do the same thing. Well, we, we have a cheer in here. It's called hip, hip, away. <laughs> now, the incisions are very small. They're just little nicks in the skin with very small cannulas, so I make multiple ones. Under local anesthesia, Christy feels no pain while Dr. Klein oh, works to remove the fat. Hello? Yes, I am very happy. And She's even comfortable enough to talk on the phone while he works. Well, thank you. You know, he's doing it right now as we speak. And I don't, yes, no, I don't, I feel, the only thing I feel is the pressure of his hand. And that's about it. Dr. Klein himself has performed more than 6,000 tumescent liposuctions with no complications. In fact, in this country, there have been no reported deaths and very few reported injuries. That safety record has turned past critics into cheerleaders. She's not holding her stomach in here. This is a totally natural... Mm. Uh, New York's Dr. Gerald Pittman is one of the top plastic surgeons in the country. He has authored a book about liposuction and is a strong advocate of tumescent technique. The tumescent technique has the advantages of providing complete local anesthesia. It reduces blood loss. It reduces swelling. It increases the rapidity of recovery, and it reduces post-operative pain. In more human terms, talk about what this surgery can mean to patients. It is a terrific operation. Uh, this operation does what it purports to do. It delivers the result. Uh, it's safe, it's effective. It reduces size in areas that people can't reduce. Since I do so many of these surgeries, my arm would get sore, I'd get tennis elbow. Yeah. <laughs> Lipo liposuction elbow. <laughs> but I don't with these small cannulas. The new liposuction technique allows surgeons to work closer to the surface of the skin. And the new instruments are tiny, some no more than an eighth of an inch. The best surgeons possess both technical skill and artistic finesse. You're doing something under the skin, and you feel around very carefully to make sure that there are no areas of lumpiness or bumpiness. It should feel smooth everywhere. You can hear it. <laughs> it's art, and it's craft and uh, skill, and it all comes with experience. Right now, the beneficiaries of that experience are likely to be women. Men make up just 15% of the total number of liposuction patients. Let's go on the Boricua. Okay, is that, that is better. But that may be changing. Frank Rocco is a 30-year-old salesman for a Northeast-based company which sells lumber and supplies to the pallet industry. Being fit is a plus in his work, which sometimes includes repairing heavy tools. Looking at his body today, you would never know that he was a fat kid and a fat young adult. I would look in the mirror and I would see these three different people. Actually, what it was, I had three different chins. It was, it was something I wasn't happy with. Frank got the weight off and kept it off. A personal trainer in his off time, Frank sports a well-sculpted physique. He decided on liposuction after fruitless efforts to trim a problem area. I right, turn back this way again. Like right now I wear a pair of pants and I still feel the fat hanging over the sides. Okay, you know, it's not much, but it's there and it does bother me. Dr. Kirk Brandau of Philadelphia is Frank's doctor. 
taking care of a lot of models, uh, bodybuilders, uh, professional athletes who have small little deposits of fat. And a lot of these people will work out day in and day out to try to get rid of that fat, and they never can. And so I can sympathize a lot with somebody like Frank. Feel relaxed, Frank? Yeah. Good. Okay. You'll we'll be, be starting in a few minutes. And Dr. Brandau says that unlike Frank, many men see cosmetic surgery as a cop-out. Men have always been embarrassed about having anything done. Men are macho. They think that they should work out and get rid of everything by working out. Just take it easy. Just sit for a second. There's no doubt that fat Enjoy. suctioning can Enjoy. dramatically change the contour of the body. Back over this way. Remember Judy Savage? Last year, she decided to have more liposuction look, look, surgery. Look, 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 look this time here. done by Dr. Klein. She now has a figure she's proud to show off. Before I was stuffed into a size 14, and if the pants would fit, the jackets wouldn't fit, and now I fit almost completely into a size 12, bottom and top, and that's amazing. Judy's body was resculpted, but she only dropped two pounds. That's why doctors stress that liposuction is not a treatment for obesity. This is not a weight loss technique. It shouldn't be used for weight loss. The patient should not be going into this thinking they're going to lose weight. It's a spot reduction technique. So these dramatic articles that appear in the tabloids where a woman says, I lost 30 pounds and went from a size 14 to a size 10? Anybody who says they lost 30 pounds from liposuction is not telling the truth. It's bunk. Liposuction is an elective surgery and as such is not covered by insurance. Cost is generally based on the number of areas to be suctioned. Charges can range from as little as $1,500 to $10,000 or more. Wow. At the end of her five-hour surgery, Christy Turley saw the difference immediately, and she was overwhelmed. Gosh, I'm glad I did. Thank you. You're welcome. Two and a half weeks after undergoing liposuction, Christy's body is still shrinking. She won't see the final results for two months. But husband Tyler is amazed right now. Yeah, I can't get away. I can't. I'm going to pull the mirrors out of the house. <laughs> I can't get away from him. She I keep keeps telling. looking at him, yeah. Christy is already four pants sizes smaller. I had to borrow some, um, some pants the other day because my pants don't fit me right. And my girlfriend's a lot skinnier than me, and she loaned them to me. So it's kind of nice to put on her pants. <laughs> My jeans may be by Calvin, but my body's by Clyde. <laughs> Tim joins us now from Boston. Now, that looks scary, that procedure, Tim. Uh, calls for skill. And how do you select the right doctor to do this? Well, in the past, Hugh, there's been a lot of professional turf battles between particularly plastic surgeons and other kinds of doctors who do this kind of surgery. And I guess I'd say, all else being equal, personally, I would pick a plastic surgeon because of their general surgical background. But most important, is to find a doctor who has a lot of experience with this procedure, who's demonstrated his or her skill by doing many of them and can show you pictures. Ask around in the community and find out who other doctors or nurses would go to. Now, if you gain weight afterward, I understand that particular fat doesn't come back. Is that right? Theoretically, once you remove those fat cells, they should not be there to get fat again. So if you gain weight, it might go elsewhere, but it shouldn't go there. Now, that's the theory. Uh, time is going to tell whether that theory is so. true. Thank you, Tim.